Improv's really great. Uh, we're gonna keep this thing rolling with the comic. Uh, let's be honest, if you're here to see him, but when he gets off stage, please still be here. Uh, <laughs> all right, okay? Because if you guys leave, that's it. The show's over. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, put your hands together, everybody, for Richard Beattie. <laughs> Guys, very excited to be here on a Tuesday night. Thanks everyone for coming out. Thank you. I did not know these people. They just found me on HBO last week. I decided to come out tonight. No, honestly, I invited my boss um, tonight, which is a really bad idea. So if anybody's hiring, let me know. I'll be at the bar after this. I actually brought some resumes in preparation. Um, no, but really, thank you for the warm welcome. Um, I needed this week because I've actually been to the dentist twice already this week. And it's Tuesday, and I haven't even had dinner tonight, so that means I've had more dental visits than vegetable servings this week, which I do not think is a sign of a healthy lifestyle. Um, and going to the dentist really stresses me out. It's not the drilling or the noise um, or the fact that two strangers have four hands in your mouth all at the same time, which I don't even get. Like, I can't fit a full tortilla chip in my mouth. I don't like, get the angle right first. Um, but it's none of that that stresses me out. It's really just all about the money. Because um, I've, I've had to get two root canals, two crowns, and when you go, you gotta get the root canals first, then you go in, you get the temporary crowns, and they fit you for the permanent crowns. I mean, you guys probably all know this. And if you don't, then congratulations, you floss, okay? <laughs> We're all really proud of you that you listen to the dentist when you're young. Um, you know, but I ended up going about five times, and it's gonna cost me about $5,000. <laughs> and yeah, that's not a joke, that's freaking real. And that's, with, and that's with dental insurance, which is crazy. Um, and some of those visits are like less than an hour. You know? And I was thinking, I was like doing the math, and I'm like, I think this is the most expensive thing I've ever done in my entire life. <laughs> like, if you just take total money and then divide it by total hours, <laughs> dentists cost more than buying a new car. Because my wife and I, we bought a new car last year, and it was $14,000, and we negotiated for 12 hours. <laughs> so I do the math, and it checks out. Like, you think a plane ticket costs a lot, like 600 bucks to fly to Europe, but it's an eight-hour flight. Like, you do the math, it's under 100 bucks an hour. That is a deal going to the dentist. But it was nice, because when I went there, I got two crowns. Like, I've always wanted to wear a crown, you know? Like, as a kid, I imagined that when you had a crown on, and like strangers met you, they would look at you and they'd be like, oh man, this guy's got like a kingdom, and he's conquered lands, and he has a castle with a queen in it, and archers protecting them, and he's got a moat and a drawbridge, we you can turn to lift it up. And he's definitely got a dragon that like speaks a language that only me and him know, you know? But when people see these crowns, they look at me and they're like, oh, this guy had poor oral hygiene for a like, significant portion of his life. And not only that, I was too poor to fix it in a timely manner, which is how it got to this point now. And when I have a crown and people see me, they think, oh, that guy used to have a dirty mouth. And now it's just an expensive mouth. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for coming out. <laughs> Thanks, guys.